Man, I've been interested in laptops recently. You could probably tell. I've been using MacBooks for years and recently, you know, bumping into some problems. Keyboard issue that keeps on flaring up. But in the meantime, I've been experimenting a lot more with Windows and the wide variety of choices that you have. Look at that, all the way down to there. Kirk was telling me he's at yoga the other day. What pose is that? Sleeping dog. It's a sleeping dog, you see? I know my yoga. It's just a little bit more exciting, to be honest, because there's more choice. Did a video on this guy here. This is the X1 Carbon Lenovo ThinkPad. Two and a half pounds. It's got an anti-glare display as well, which I've actually grown to really like using near a window. Prior to that, the Surface Laptop 2 that I have here is mostly aluminum with, of course, the Alcantara interior. As much as I wanted to love this one, the keyboard was just a little bit too flimsy. Maybe I'm hammering a bit hard when you put them in a showdown between the X1 Carbon and this one. The keys themselves, yeah, I mean, they're nicer. They're nicer on the laptop by a touch. I just gravitate towards that one. You have tablets and iPads and smartphones and so many different devices competing for your attention. And when you reach for one of these, you wanna have a nice keyboard experience, a nice display experience. The speaker experience, haven't been super happy with on the X1 Carbon. Salute to speed, there's a McLaren logo. The speakers on this are not as nice as pretty much any MacBook that I've used. So anyhow, that brings us to today, the X1 Extreme. This is the Lenovo equivalent to the MacBook Pro. This is the workstation. This is the GTX 1050. This one has a Core i7 in it. This is configurable up to 64 gigabytes of RAM. In fact, if you buy this laptop in the form of the P1, then you could be looking at Intel Xeon processors in a laptop. It's got two slots for SSDs. But the craziest part about this is it still comes in incredibly light, right at four pounds. So think MacBook Pro, think thin and light. Ooh, okay, here we go. This one has a 4K display on it. That's a ton of pixels for a laptop, but it does come at the expense of being a bit heavier compared to the X1 Carbon. I mean, you're gonna notice the difference. More screen real estate on this side. It actually supports quick charging. 135 watt power brick, which isn't even that huge. Think of quick charge for your smartphone but for your laptop, and it's about time that took place. They've gone with a proprietary connector here. I think it's worth it in exchange for quick charge on your laptop. It's got the soft touch to it. It's all business, but that's all right. It, it just says, I wanna get the job done. Nothing extra. You have an SD card slot, couple of USB ports over here. There's a Kensington lock, two Thunderbolt 3 USB type C connectors, HDMI out, ethernet breakout, and also a headphone jack. Much different than the Apple approach on the MacBook. The rapid charge will bring this laptop up to 80% of its total battery capacity in a one hour charge. Okay, cool. This one, there's a little bit more room on the deck. The trackpad looks a little bit larger than the X1 Carbon. Let's take a quick peek at that, yeah. It's a bit taller and the fingerprint scanner moved. This one they say is anti-reflective, but it has glass over top. So it's gonna be more reflective than the one that I'm currently using on the carbon. This is the best too, look at this. Like why don't more laptops do that? Let me go flat if I have to, that is crazy. So if you're all about contrast and vibrance and so on, this is probably the display that you're going to select if you go with this particular system. Having 4K resolution in something that's 15 inches, I mean, that's a ton. That's some serious pixel density going on there. Let me do a little bit of typing on this keyboard. I'm curious. Quick brown fox jumped over that lazy dog. I love these keyboards, man. I didn't realize how deprived I had been for so many years. Butterfly key switches, when even when they worked, like you just feel like getting after it. It's like the carbon with some added stability if typing is of utmost importance to you. Apparently, the audio performance is better here than it is on the sixth generation carbon. Those are. That's 100. And today, I, I feel like, I hope, that I've uncovered some value. It, it does sound better than the X1 Carbon. It's still not MacBook Pro level sound. The fans are jumping on a little bit. Again, we got, we got hotter hardware. I mean, that's the bottom line. And the screen, I'm seeing a lot more color and saturation in the video when compared 
to the 1080p display. Like that's a pretty good looking image right there. Are not a reality for everyone. In the 4K display is so nice to look at, but it's gonna increase your power consumption, obviously. You could go in and, 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 and create some, some very customized versions of that product. You can spec this unit with an i5, an i7. Like I said, you can go to the workstation version where you can go all the way up to a Xeon. And it's not even over once you own the thing because you can pop this bottom off right here and you can actually upgrade it yourself. You can throw another SSD in there. It's actually pretty easy to do and they don't mind you doing it. You're not like voiding a warranty or anything like that. Is the extra horsepower worth the added weight, scale, size, and so on when compared to the X1 Carbon, which I've been liking. Look at the way I handle that with one hand. I've been liking this so much. It might be for me and my day-to-day -day tasks that this is a bit more convenient. I don't really know yet, but I'm real interested in what Lenovo is doing with the ThinkPad line. It's got me fired back up. If you're like me and you've been on a MacBook for a really long time, it might be the time to take a glance back. It's the extreme version. It's the desktop replacement sort of workstation little bit of gaming. It's like the powerhouse ThinkPad. If you're looking for something smaller, lighter, this is 2.5 pounds. Go check out the video that I did on this. Laptops, they're cool. Get one, type something.